It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for the month of January 2021. So you could say if this is being recorded the end of September, per se. So three months from now, okay? So we're going to say January 2021. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Aries? For January 2021, Aries, the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Seek. Ooh, this is the Hermit. Okay, so it's time for you to go within to heal, to fig realize your true identity. Okay, so January is going to be a month of probably reevaluation, withdrawing from others, reflecting, uh, completely going within, taking time alone to heal, working on your spirituality, realizing who you are now at this time. So it's a time of reevaluation and reflection by the looks of things. That's the way I feel. I think that you're going to be deepening your spirituality, maybe raising your vibration, seeking solitude, re-identifying. That's what it is, January 2021. number five show simple acts of kindness a simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you so you probably will be showing some acts of kindness this month or you're being called to okay um, so let's get started with the tarot cards Sorry, I got a piece behind that. The leg slipped. I needed to restabilize it. And so, what do we have for Aries for January 2021? Seeking solitude, becoming clear of a choice. So, through this time of solitude, you will receive some sort of clarity. In regards to a choice that you need to make. It's interesting because I said I said a time of reflection. And, and when I said that, I automatically thought of the high priestess. But it was the hermit that came up. So you will be taking time alone in January to reflect on a choice that you are going to be making. You will be presented with a choice. And you're going to be reflecting on your options in January. Um, you will need time alone to make this choice. Time alone will be, you know, exactly what the doctor ordered is, is to deal with whatever uh, this decision is that you are about to make. Okay? The only one that can make this decision is you, nobody else. I should have gotten this uh, fixed up better before the reading, but I didn't. A choice. Yeah, we already know there's a choice. You're at a crossroad. You're going to be at that point where you need to make a decision and it's going to, you have to make it. You don't have a choice at this point. Yes, there's a choice to be made, but you have to choose now, okay? It's the time where you have to make the decision. You're going to need to listen to yourself and yourself only. Listen to your gut. So you, you're going to basically need to be alone to make this choice. It's like you're at the end of the road. Do you choose to go left or do you choose to go right? Left leads you back home again. Right leads you um, to some place you've never been. And it's exciting. You can see that path that you have never been down looks, it looks great. It looks like there's a party going on over there. 
you can hear voices, you can hear people. It's exciting. It's like you want to go down that path, but you know you need to go home. So that's what kind of choice I'm talking about. You're going to be making a choice. Do you want to go home or do you want to go join the party? Do you want to go have some fun? Do you want to live a little? The star reversed. Now the star reversed is why? 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 Why is this happening? It's happening because this is a test. This is a test you need to pass. You're probably going to be feeling very fearful. Fearful of the choice that you have to make. I think that uh, you're, you, you may feel like this isn't the right time. Why are you being put in this position? Whatever You're going to be making a very significant choice in January. And it is going to affect your future. And you're going to be like, come on now. You know, I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. So I think that you're going to be uh, needing to, uh, well, you're, you're going to have an opportunity to step into unknown territory and leave something behind. Empress. Now the Empress has to do with a mother unconditional love. So if you are a mother, this you may have to think about your child. You may have to think about your child in regards to this decision. You know, what is best for your child. Um, the Empress is the giver of life. It is a mother. It is somebody that is very abundant, very um, very beautiful. So we have a very beautiful woman here. That is making a choice. So if you are the masculine watching this, it could be the woman that is, is choosing. She may be choosing between you and somebody else. Um, but whoever this is, this, this mother is going to do what's best for her and her child. Okay? She's going to do what's best for both. She is making a decision in regards to seeing something, a choice, seeing something clearly. She's making another choice. Now, this mother is about to give birth to a new life. She's about to create a new life for her and her child. There's definitely a child involved here. This is a creator. You may be dealing with somebody that already has children if you are the masculine watching this. This person is very loving, very kind, very, and it could be you or if you are the feminine watching this. This is uh, somebody that is very valuable. This person knows their value and loves unconditionally. Because this is unconditional love. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Libra if you are a masculine watching this. You're really going to need to listen to your gut, to listen to your intuition. We also have a healer here. We have a healer, a tarot reader, a medium, something like that. Um, maybe they can give you some sort of advice. Um, but I feel like you really need to listen to your own gut here. Especially, I mean, male or female, you need to listen to your gut. There is an opportunity for a new beginning here, for a new life. But you have to choose wisely. Because this is a card of consequences. You have to choose what you want and not what anybody else wants. So you're going to have to make a choice in regards to you know, what you want. What your gut, what your intuition says that you need. So in January, you're going to be making a very... Uh, well, I think it's a pivotal choice. Okay? And you're going to need to do it alone. Um, this is lack of spirituality, the star card. Lack of hope, feeling depleted. Somebody could even be feeling ashamed of their previous choices. Be sure not to repeat the same mistakes. Okay? Because I see that you've made some poor choices in the past and you may be ashamed of those. You have an opportunity now to create something new. But the only way that you can create something new is to do what's best for you. Okay? You're not going to be able to listen to anybody but yourself, even though you may have a tarot reader, or you may have a medium, or you may have a psychic, or you may be dealing with a healer, or a mother, or somebody that is giving you advice. 
listen to yourself before anybody else. It's all good and fine to listen to their advice, but you listen to you. Okay? Um, this is all happening. This is a test of faith. It's a test of your faith. It's a test of your spirituality. It's a test of your gut. It's a test of your intuition. You're going to be presented with an option in which your gut will give you the answer, but you haven't listened to your gut in the past and you've made poor choices. Don't do it again. Do you understand? So, um, what is this empress? It's a motherly love. Three of Cups reversed. Now, the Three of Cups reversed is gossiping. It is. It's gossiping. It's termination. Okay, it's a termination. It's a lack of emotional growth. It's parting ways. Parting ways with friends to do what's right for you. Maybe you got to part ways with people. Maybe you're dealing with a bunch of bitchy women or friends that really aren't your friends. You know, maybe you have an enemy that is disguised as a friend. And they're depleting you. They're depleting you of, of your energy. I feel as though you got somebody here who is very beautiful. Whether it's you or somebody around you that is very beautiful. That is very caring and kind. And this could be your energy. Maybe you need to create a new life by parting ways with people that don't support you and deplete you. Queen of Wands reverse down a notch. Look at that. Isn't <laughs> that interesting? It fell right down a notch. There's somebody is bringing you down. They're taking you down. You're allowing it. You're allowing somebody to deplete you. There's lack of confidence here. You need to find your confidence. You need to find your strength. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that has made you feel weak. You know, they depleted you. And then maybe they've made you feel like, you know, you're not good enough. There is somebody here that is bringing you down. You need to find your strength and your determination To not give your energy to people that don't support you. It's better off to be alone than to be around people or to converse with people or work with people that talk behind your back and gossip about you and who aren't really your friends. You don't owe them anything. You don't even owe them an explanation for anything. It's like somebody has stolen your power and you allowed them to. And you're probably feeling depressed. I feel like you this month you feel depressed because you feel like, you know, you've been... I don't know, maybe you feel like these people have uh, betrayed you. But you allowed it. You need to separate. You need to go your own way. There's a lot of solitude here. You need to go your own way. Nurture yourself. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Don't let people take advantage of you, Aries. There, There is. You got some friends here that are family or something that really aren't your friend. And they're talking behind your back. And you may get really angry. You may get really, really angry. But you have an opportunity to turn your back on them and go in a different direction right now. So I feel as though in January you need to, you are going to need to seek solitude to deal with maybe some anger inside of you or frustrations. I feel like you may be frustrated. These, these people are making you frustrated and you're allowing it. Instead of just walking away. Terminate their rights to you. Okay. I feel as though if you are the female watching this, and if you're the cross watcher, this reading could be for you. 
I don't know who it's for. If you are the female watching this, you have an opportunity to create a new life right now. But it starts with unconditional love for yourself. We have a very beautiful woman that is watching this or is part of this scenario that is uh, very nurturing. She's very lovely. She's very caring. She can grow anything. She's very creative. She does everything with love. This is a time of growth. But action is needed. And I see that you haven't been taking action. You need to take action. So anyhow, Aries, I feel as though this month you're going to be presented with another option. And this is an option, it's a spur of the moment kind of thing, that two of wands. This could be a sudden departure. I think that you, you or a sudden arrival or something like that. You're going to be making a decision as to whether you want to stay in this partnership. And it is a partnership because two's are partnerships. Or you want to go. I think that you, there's a lot of restlessness. I feel like you've been feeling withdrawn. You've been feeling lack of contentment. And this may have to do with your job. Something to do with your job. And now it's time for you to decide which is what is best for you. You have two paths. You can choose to go back to, I don't know, maybe it's that job. Or back to that, those people that don't support you. Or you can choose to go down another path and find a new tribe. Or you can choose to go your own way. Maybe you need to be kind to yourself. It says show simple acts of kindness. A simple act of kindness can energize you and bring happiness to those around you. I feel like you have been taken advantage of. I think somebody has taken your kindness for weakness. Maybe it's time for you to be kind to you. I do think that there could be some sort of anger that or frustrations that come up this month because of whoever you are or dealing with is talking behind your back. And this is happening because you need to find your strength to take care of you. So I feel as though this month you will be uh, choosing to part ways. Because that's what's best for you. So I see a separation. I don't know if you're dealing, you could be dealing with another fire sign. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. I feel as though you know what's best. This may have something to do with mother and child. Like I already said that. I think that you know what's best. And it's better to not fight and walk away than engage in drama. Good luck.